Oh, this. Oh. Um, what is your favorite song that you ever did? My favorite song that I ever did. Yeah. It, it's on. Oh. No, no, it's not. Oh, it is on. But it, it is. On. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to pick. I really can't pick my favorite song. Uh, they're, they're it's kind of like kids, you know. You, you like them all for different, different reasons, uh, and I really can't. D differentiate which one would be my favorite. Uh, you know, I, certain songs are moving in different ways each night I play them. Uh, there's certain songs that I've written that I haven't played for years and years and years. There's certain songs that I've played every concert. Um, so I guess I'm probably drawn to the ones that, that I've played more. Um, um, my Deliverer holds a place in my heart because I wrote it with my friend Rich Mullins. Um, uh, Another song of mine called Danger that I played tonight is, is a very intimate, personal song um, about faith and about struggles and how they're intermixed. Um, and uh, uh, I like a song, Plastic Horses, because it reminds me of my son Payson. And I like, I like a song, Closer, simply because it reminds me of my daughter Brooklyn. And, and then there's a song... We're doing good. Um, Collide that I wrote for my wife, Paula. So those are all special to me. Um, and it's hard to pick. <laughs> Beyond that, probably my. Uh, let's see, one one on the new new record. Well, I mentioned Danger. Um, and, and my Comforter and Stay Empty on my new record are songs that I'm really trying to live out. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. uh, how about, um, what happened to your hair? <laughs> my, I didn't take your advice, sorry. You know, it, I, I really just woke up one morning and I was like, what the? <laughs> but, uh, uh, it, you know, as you get older, I guess it gets shorter. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, um, it's easier. I still don't go to the, get it cut, but maybe once a year, but uh, it just, it's ended up being short. <laughs> What's that? <clears throat> Don't you got anyone from 1970s? Do I like people from 1970s? And uh, now people with young hair in 1970s. And now they have hair. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, l I love the 70s, so I guess that's why. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to see music in 50 years from now. Uh, <laughs> probably gone. Probably long gone. Maybe, maybe there might be a couple... That'd be, that'd be really special to me if there was a couple songs that, that people remembered. But, um... You know, things just move along. And all my songs are on CD, and I guess they are on digitally a able to be downloaded and stuff. But um, I think things will just move on to the point, and there's always something new coming. And um, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I've had to try and point people towards the Lord through this means. And um, I'm, I'm trying to live in the moment as much as I can. And uh, not not terribly worried about what the future holds for the music, but I, I would be moved if something was remembered. Is there any super audio CDs that have your music? Just the just the CDs that I've made. I made. I've made nine CDs and. That's what I got. <laughs> so, no, no, CD format that we should be paying. Yeah, don't tell them something. Right, yeah. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Definitely Star Wars. Amen. <laughs> well, thanks for, thanks for answering my um, questions. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you. Guys. What is your name? I'm Jesse. Alright, good to meet you. Yeah, I don't like quarter party.